This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today I'm going to do something I have never done before and I'm going to let ChatGPT or artificial intelligence tell me what to sculpt. So I went over to ChatGPT and I typed in, give me a unique scary character to sculpt and describe exactly what they look like. And it came up with this. One unique and scary character you could sculpt is a soul eater, a creature from a dark dimension that feeds on the souls of the living. The soul eater is a grotesque and terrifying figure standing at over eight feet tall. Its body is thin and skeletal with sharp bones protruding from its emaciated limbs. Its skin is a sickly pale color and seems to be stretched tightly over its bony frame. I'll read you the rest while I'm sculpting this creature and I was pretty impressed at the detail that ChatGPT was able to give me. I was able to ask it for more details like describe exactly what its face looks like, what color is the skin, what do their legs and feet look like. It was really crazy and it remembered everything that I said previously so it was still talking about the same character that it came up with for me. So this is a cool project, kind of a spin on my wheel of sculpture videos that I haven't done in a while and I really hope you enjoy this fun process. And before we get started, I just dropped a brand new limited edition print. This one is holographic, just like the others I've released. You can see that awesome shimmery finish that it has. And it features the latest mutant, the Collectrix from a couple weeks ago. So if you want to get this and add it to your collection, it will be available while supplies last. Aceofclay.com, link in the description box below. And now without further ado, let's make this AI sculpture. All right, let's sculpt this soul eater. Now I haven't played around with ChatGPT too much, but I thought this would be a great way to come up with something that I wouldn't have on my own. That really wasn't the case though, because this is exactly something I would sculpt, but it's still cool that this sculpture concept was completely generated by AI. I liked being able to ask it questions like I mentioned in the introduction, and it gave me more clarity as to what this guy is gonna look like. So starting with the body, according to AI again, the Soul Eater is a grotesque and terrifying figure standing at over 8 feet tall. Its body is thin and skeletal, with sharp bones protruding from its emaciated limbs. Its skin is a sickly pale color and seems to be stretched tightly over its bony frame. Alright, let's start getting our clay on the armature and shape out these long, bony limbs. And now we can move on to some protruding ribs that the skin is tightly stretched over. After creating these with some snakes of clay, I'm going to use a couple different tools to get those blended in and shaped out. Now I'm just adding some thin snakes of clay to create some more detail and interest in the skin, making some veins and wrinkles and just making it look real gross. I feel like I'm channeling my siren head sculpture from a few years ago. Now we're going to take a quick break from the body and start working on the face and head. This is one of the features I asked ChatGPT to elaborate on, and this is what it said. The Soul Eater's face is a disturbing sight to behold. Its skin is stretched tight over its bony skull, giving a skull-like appearance. Its eyes are glowing red orbs set deep within the eye sockets, which seem to pierce through your very soul. The pupils are narrow and slitted, like that of a predatory animal and they seem to be constantly scanning its surroundings for potential prey. Its nose is barely more than a pair of nostril slits, and its mouth is filled with jagged, razor-sharp teeth that seem to be constantly dripping with saliva. Its lips are thin and stretched tight over its teeth, giving it a perpetual sneer. It's funny how everything's always stretched tightly over all the features. 
The creature's ears are pointed and bat-like, adding to its overall bat-like appearance. Okay, so now we know it looks like a bat, kind of. Its head is topped with a crown of sharp spines that seem to radiate out from its skull, further adding to its frightening appearance. Overall, the Soul Eater's face is a terrifying and unsettling sight that is sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone who sees it. All right, that was a lot of detail, which is great because the more detail you have, the more you know what you're doing. All right, now the further I get on his face, the more I start to think he looks like some kind of vampire monster. Just wait until I get those bat ears on. Now, I know this is a little off topic, but someone brought up in my Snakes of Clay Facebook group that they were feeling discouraged and unmotivated because someone in their life didn't take their art seriously, saying that YouTube isn't a real job, <clears throat> and so on and so forth. And I just want to comment on this in case there's anyone else out there in a similar situation. When you create art, create it for yourself. Create it because you love art. Don't ever let anyone take away your spark or passion because they don't think it's valid. They probably aren't an artist. Focus on yourself and don't take comments like these to heart. Now let's finish up the mouth with a bunch of jagged teeth like ChatGPT said. These are made from cosplay and pre-baked so I can just poke them into the surface and not worry about them breaking because cosplay stays flexible after it's baked. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from our video to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over four years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show my art to the world, and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, plushes, and more, and Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, print shipping labels, I get notifications when something sells, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've gotta have a social media presence and Squarespace allows you to integrate all of your social media platforms into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, now back to our sculpture. All right, let's finish off the head with some texture using my cone shaper tool just layering a bunch of lines all over the place, making some wrinkles around the eyes, and then we can start working on his ears. I will be making the ears out of cosplay, of course. All right, once that first ear is on and blended, I'm gonna make the other one off camera. Okay, now that the head's done, I'm gonna attach it with some bacon bond and pop on a neck really quick and then we can pre-bake him so that I can work on the rest of him without messing up the stuff that I already finished. One more thing before I pre-bake him, I'm just going to use some of the larger cosplay teeth that I had and create that spiky crown on his head. And once our guy is completely baked and cooled down, it's time to finish up his limbs. 
trim off the wire, add some bacon bond before adding my clay. This makes the clay stick very well to aluminum wire, especially brushed aluminum wire like this. I don't have to worry about wire wrapping or anything. This works great. Just add some more texture like we did to his body. And then we can start working on his hands, which are actually just going to be single fingers. I'll tell you about that in a sec. Okay, according to ChatGPT, the Soul Eater's arms are long and sinewy, ending in sharp single talons that it uses to stab and tear apart its prey. Its legs are segmented and spider-like, allowing it to scuttle up walls and cling to ceilings. This guy totally looks like some kind of creepy vampire. One feature that I found particularly entertaining about this ChatGPT experience is that not only did it describe what the Soul Eater looked like, it gave other details and features too about its personality and character traits, like this. Perhaps the most terrifying aspect of the Soul Eater is its ability to mimic the voices of humans. It can lure unsuspecting prey by calling out in the voice of a loved one or a friend, only to reveal its true form and pounce on its prey once they draw near. ChatGPT is just as twisted as I am. <laughs> it also gave me this nice, comforting conclusion. Sculpting this character would require attention to detail in its skeletal body, sharp and menacing teeth, and glowing red eyes. Its long, spider-like legs and arms would also need to be carefully crafted to convey its frightening agility and strength. Thanks, ChatGPT. That was nice of you to add. <laughs> Now another thing I wanted ChatGPT to elaborate on was the legs and feet, and it gave me this long-winded, novel-like description. The Soul Eater's legs and feet are particularly unsettling, and they are a key aspect of its terrifying appearance. The creature's legs are long and thin, resembling those of a spider or an insect. Its lower legs are segmented with sharp, pointed joints that seem to be made of bone. Okay. Its feet are also segmented, ending in long, razor-sharp claws that can grip and tear apart its prey. The joints of the Soul Eater's legs are particularly flexible, allowing it to move in a variety of unnatural ways. It can crawl along walls and ceilings with ease, using sharp claws to grip onto any surface. Its legs also give it an incredible speed and agility, allowing it to pounce on its prey with lightning-fast movements. That sounds like me trying to hit the word count on an essay in high school. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to paint, and this is actually the last thing I asked ChatGPT about this creature. What color is it? And it gave me... The Soul Eater skin is a sickly pale color, almost like that of a corpse. Its skin seems to be stretched tightly over its emaciated body, revealing the contours of its bones and adding to its overall skeletal appearance. The pale color of its skin contrasts sharply with the deep, glowing red of its eyes, creating a disturbing and otherworldly effect. All right, there it goes again with that stretched skin. <laughs> All right, here you can see I'm adding a dark blue wash onto that pale surface to create the look of a rotting corpse, I guess. You know, there's no blood flowing in this guy, so I'm gonna make all the shadows blue. going to paint the eyes red and I'm just now realizing that I forgot to paint the slitted pupils uh, we're just gonna pretend that I made them I just want to dry brush some black on the tips of those spikes on its head create a nice effect a nice unsettled adding to its unsettling grotesque appearance and then we're gonna move on to the nails Now let's finish him off with some glossy eyes, glaze the teeth, get the mouth all slimy, look like he's salivating like JGPT told me to do, <laughs> touch up some things here and there.
Now say it with me. And he is done. The soul leader is complete. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. is really weird and definitely something that I would sculpt normally so chat GPT like already knows me I would love to do more challenges like this with artificial intelligence like asking it to come up with a cute character or a pretty character for me to sculpt let me know if you would be interested in that don't forget to head on over to aceclay.com to grab my new print and as always thank you so much for watching and being here be sure to like comment and subscribe check me out on Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok at Ace of Clay and I will see you in the next video Thanks for watching.